Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Dawa uh, Leaf Spring Gyuto 240mm knife. So there's some interesting reading on the product page, which if you're looking at this video, probably have looked at, but they've got some background on this company and um, how they do things. And uh, they've made great strides since Mark started working with them uh, with their product. Uh, they've taken heed to a lot of their suggestions for better grinds and more consistency, and they've really stepped up their game quite a bit from some of the earlier samples I've seen. So they're really doing a nice job these days with these things. So they're not the project knife that they used to be. But uh, anyway, pretty dark, doggone impressed with this blade. It's pretty cool. Um, so these are made from uh, leaf springs, uh, carbon steel leaf springs. Uh, I don't have any information on heat treat. I don't know if we really know what it is. It, it can vary. But uh, it's a mono steel. And these have a nice kind of ping to them. Uh, they'll ring to them when you hit them in certain spots or run them across a steel. Uh, so you get that in certain types of steels and especially in mono steel, but they've got a nice ring to them. The uh, weight and dimensions are going to vary a little bit, but this one's 174 grams, 6.1 ounces. The handles can vary as well, which will contribute to the weight differences, but that's what this one weighs. So it's pretty, pretty light. Uh, the edge length is right about 235 or 9 and a quarter inches on the edge. Overall length is about 14.9 inches. And then, uh, you know, these are going to vary, but this one's about 2.7 millimeters thick at the spine, at the, at the heel here. And then uh, I got about uh, 2.1 halfway down. And we don't have a lot of taper on these. Uh, so the tip, you've got to get these sharp to help performance on these. The tip works okay through things like onions. You've got to tend to work at it just a little bit and use some technique and some, you know, movement to your blade. It's not going to just go straight down through it. Uh, but, uh, you know, so not, not like a laser performer, but respectable. And um, you also don't have a large blade road here, so they tend to wedge a little bit through some types of ingredients. But overall, they do a pretty nice job, pretty respectable job. It's a very interesting blade. Uh, for the money, it's almost like, hey, why not try one out and, you know, work with it. If you're trying to learn to sharpen, uh, these have a, the steel's pretty, at least this one, it's pretty darn easy to sharpen. Edge retention is going to vary a bit. Uh, it's probably not the world's greatest edge retention. Uh, everybody will find something different depending on how well you craft your edge. But uh, definitely, I took it to the stones and it was pretty doggone easy to sharpen. Sharpened up very nicely. Out of the box edge on these, not very good. I've got this and the Nakiri. And the out-of-the-box edge, they really wouldn't cut paper towels. I'm going to give them a 3 or 4 out of 10 just because they really didn't have much of an edge on them. So you're going to want to put an edge on these out-of-the-box. They will need that. Blade height is pretty doggone tall on this. It's over 56 millimeters, so it's definitely tall. And you've got this interesting back sweep kind of curve to the choil. So you've got a good spot for your finger right there. And uh, interesting shape. And uh, so, you know, pretty comfortable actually in a pinch grip. The wood is going to vary on the handles. These are pretty impressive handles, actually. Uh, I've seen, you know, varying degrees of refinement on these handles, but these are really sweet. Uh, they're nicely made and interesting wood. You can see, obviously, they put some work into them. Uh, they're fairly thin in terms of this dimension. Um, so, not the world's biggest handles. Uh, they're a little bit wider this way and thinner that way, but uh, really well done, nice glue up job on them, so pretty impressed with that. Handle circumference, again, it's going to vary. This one was about 72 millimeters uh, right around right here on the handle. And, um, you know, fit and finish, really nothing to complain about. You've got some nice kind of rustic characteristics to it, but it's a nice straight blade. And um, you've got their kind of uh, etched logo there and name. And then that uh, kind of blacksmith finish on it, that Kudauchi finish. The spine has a little bit of relief on the edges of that, the corners. Uh, so does the choil. So the really nice fit and finish job on these. Again, the br blades are straight. Uh, they're fairly stiff, especially towards the, the back. Uh, good fit and finish on it. So, you know, for the money, <laughs> very, very impressed. So, uh, again, performance is not like way up there, but um, it's respectable. And these tend to take... You might have to use just a little bit of muscle with them and kind of just be a little kind of not necessarily aggressive, but you know, don't be timid with them. You'll have to kind of push them a little to get what you want out of them. Uh, the tip could be a little bit thinner, but that m maybe could be ground a little thinner in your part too if you want to tinker with it. But uh, you know, pretty darn impressed with these. So really cool knife. So this is 
the uh, Dauva Leaf Spring Guto 240 millimeter knife. Oh, and I forgot to do this. See if anybody watches the video past the, the quote ending. <laughs> So here is our edge profile, just in case you were wondering, you're like, hey, why didn't he do that? Forgot. So there's your edge profile. It's really a pretty decent profile. It's uh, you know, not a big flat spot anywhere that you can see the tip's fairly low, but uh, I can get up there and get a pretty good rock on it. It's very smooth profile in this. Uh, no high spots, low spots. It's just kind of a good flow into the heel. Uh, not particularly super flat, but just kind of medium belly all the way through. So good kind of generally usable profile. So anyway, let's do this one more time. We'll close it out. This is the Davois Leaf Spring Guto 240 millimeter knife.